I got to see Dune Part 2 last night, well, actually a couple nights ago. I actually caught an early screening of the movie uh, just by circumstance. Uh, I just so happened to be going to see Bob Marley, and um, I went ahead and I checked and I said, is this possible that Dune 2, Dune 2 is playing? And I actually was able to catch an early screening. Uh, the theater was full. There was only a few seats left, and I actually got a seat right in the center of the screen where I like it. But it was not ex in the middle. It was all the way to the top, which, you know, I didn't have to worry about people picking me in the back. So that was actually nice, but I would have liked to have been in the, more in the center. But being at the top, it didn't ruin the experience. As a matter of fact, it was actually one of the best movie experiences I think I've ever had. Dune... Um, Part two is a masterpiece. Um, it's it's incredible. Uh, the cinematography, the, the it's just an, it's it's an enthralling cinematic experience um, that follows right after part one. And I, I really enjoyed part one. I own it on uh, 4K, and I have to say, man, oh my goodness, this movie! I just can't stop thinking about it. It's setting up to be one of the best trilogies of science fiction. It's in a good good hands, the director. He also did Arrival, one of my favorite science fiction movies. Blade Runner, one of my favorite science fiction movies. I mean, this guy, he knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing. He takes his time in telling the story. And it is just beautiful. I mean, it is so good. I, I can't stop gushing over this movie. Um, what I like about part two, um, like I said, the cinematography, the spectacle, it's just epic cinema to its max. I mean, it is so epic. Um, man, I, I just can't. I never read any of the books. I, I would like to eventually one day read the books. But... It doesn't matter, man. It's just it's the how it's portrayed on film is just so masterfully done. I never seen David Lynch's Dune. David Lynch is one of my favorite directors, but from the scenes I've seen of David Lynch's version, it doesn't really look that great. And uh, from what I hear, it's not that great. Um, but man, what, what this movie is just—I mean, it is just so good. Um, go see it. Go see it in IMAX. Uh, it's just, you gotta see this on the biggest screen. Um, man, I mean, this is like, this is like Star Wars, you know, 77 version, you know, back in the day. The original Star Wars trilogy, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's not even that. It's, it's better than that. It's better than the original Star Wars. I mean, it's, it's, it's up there. It's like Lord of the Rings kind of epicness, but like the, on a grand scale, you know, kind of c cinema that is just got, it has to be seen in theaters. I mean, oh man. Um, one of the best movie going experiences I've had in a long time. I mean, there's a uh, okay. I'm gonna get into spoilers now, so you can you could you could you could buzz off if you haven't seen it yet. But spoilers, when 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 he rides the giant worm for the first time, that whole sequence on the big screen it was just so masterfully done. Like you felt like you were on the worm with the guy. I mean, riding with him and the sound. My seat was actually vibrating from the sound. The sound is amazing. The music is amazing. The visuals are amazing. I mean, you feel like you're there. It's so immersive and experience. And just the lore, the, uh, the, uh, the, the p political jargon, um, the characters, they're all good. Um, you know, the main character, um, I'm not going to use names because I'm not good with names, but, you know, the main protagonist of the film, 
he gave me off like boyish vibes at first. Like he looks like a like a kid to me. And maybe because that's I'm, I'm older now and he's like he, I think he's in his late twenties. I'm in my mid thirties. So to me he looks like a kid. And he talks he sounds like a kid too when he talks, but he's able to portray a strong male character somehow who's able to lead an entire army which i feel is rare nowadays like i don't know what it is but it's like you ever notice like men they just don't come off as like exuberating this masculine energy that is strong it's it's hard to say like uh, but i mean luke skywalker was kind of similar right he didn't he was kind of boyish he wasn't really he didn't give off this masculine power energy and and but but the 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 protagonist in this film he's able to portray like this dominating forceful powerful figure like a messianic kind of figure that that, that is his character and he's able to imbue that in, in, in a way and it, it actually bought that he is leading this army and he is convincing this army that he's like a mass messianic figure like a messiah and for an actor to be able to do that nowadays where where you know he, he how he's able to exuberate such strength i mean this is the same actor who also was the main character in willy wonka um you know the new willy wonka movie which i didn't watch but wonka he's like a you know he's he sings and he's like he's the opposite of that in that movie from what i can tell and it's just I mean, he's did an amazing acting job in this film and the the antagonist the, the the bad guys you know they you know the guy the fat guy and and and, and the other guy who's like um he did a fantastic job. All the actors did a fantastic job in this movie. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I'm not going to give it a score, though. I, well, maybe I will. It's near perfection. After after some rewatches, I would probably say it's perfect. It's that good. It's it's a incredible, incredible. And if if the director can. Uh, make a third one and, 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 you know, make the landing and give this a good ending with the third film. It's going to be one of the best, maybe the best science fiction trilogies that has ever been made. It's incredible. Love it.